Good morning everyone, today is a thank you video to you guys mainly for sticking around and watching my YouTube videos. But before we jump into all of that, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. So the very first thing I want to say is a big thank you to all of you guys for watching my videos, for supporting my YouTube channel. I know PSO2 NGS in particular isn't exactly the most popular game, so I'm super grateful that you guys are still watching my content. I know a lot of you guys don't even play the game anymore, but you still drop in to just see what's new, if there's anything interesting going on, or maybe you just like my personality and you just like watching my videos since it's a daily upload type of thing. And uh, yeah, I'm just really, really thankful that you guys are supporting the channel continuously watching my videos and stuff like that. Now that being said, let us just take a quick look at what we've achieved in 2022. So, you know, the first big milestone for me was I was able to move. I was able to move from Shenzhen to Shanghai over here. And it's really all thanks to you guys. You know, you guys basically gave me the courage, I guess, and the motivation and the drive to be like, yeah, I'm not satisfied with my current position. I want to upgrade, you know, I want to move somewhere better so that I have better internet and blah, blah, blah. Unfortunately, even though I moved to Shanghai, you know, my internet still isn't that great. Unfortunately, it is better, though. It is a lot better than what I had before. So that is an upgrade. I'm able to upload, you know, 1440p videos for you guys now, which is a big upgrade as well. I was also able to upgrade my computer thanks to you guys, because uh, especially when the PS4 version of NGS released, you guys gave me so much support. It really, really helped out the channel, helped me out a lot. I was able to upgrade my gaming PC. I was able to upgrade my editing rig. It was a really, really big difference. So uh, I really want to thank you guys again for all of the support because it really means the world to me like being able to do what I really enjoy doing like a passion project at the side and still be able to make a little bit of money in order to fund itself that is just huge it's really really big so uh, as you guys know I do have a regular day job on top of the YouTube stuff but uh, my passion is still in video making and video games so uh, you know I just love playing games figure things out and then just simplifying it and making videos explaining what I've learned you know it's kind of my my way of sharing my knowledge with you guys and it gives me a purpose to play certain games like in NGS you know there's not really that much to do if you're playing alone if you're just playing for your own personal pleasure you know you could probably burn through most of the content in a couple weeks and you'll be like oh yeah there's nothing else to do however since I'm in this unique position on where I'm constantly trying to learn new things trying to figure out what's the most efficient thing to do and stuff like that you know it gives me a purpose it gives me a lot more stuff to do in the game which is really really fun because I find it really satisfying figuring out all of these things and you're just like oh yeah I finally found this is how you get like the max potency or whatever this stuff has always been pretty fascinating on my side but more than that it's just meeting you guys in game I find it really wholesome and really heartwarming whenever I just run into a lobby and everyone's just like yo what's up Carol I watched your video yesterday blah 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 and it's just like I don't know I just find it very very heartwarming and I'm really thankful for the PSO2 community for being so welcoming and so nice like sure we do have some bad actors here and there but but the majority of the PSO2 community is actually really, really nice. So I'm really thankful for you guys supporting me as well as all the other creators and just enjoying the game in general because I know NGS is not in the best place compared to, you know, a lot of other games. So uh, yeah, I'm just really thankful that you guys are sticking around with me. But now let's talk about what you guys can look forward to next year. So next year is pretty much going to be more of the same of NGS. However, I've had a lot of people, like basically every other person has been asking me, Carol, are you going to be playing Blue Protocol when it comes out? And since so many people are asking, I'm guessing there's a lot of uh, hype for it or a lot of people are going to try it. So yeah, sure, I will try out Blue Protocol. However, no promises that I'm going to be making content on that game. I'll probably just play it on my off time and enjoy it a little bit and if I do really enjoy it like as much as I like PSO2 then maybe I'll make content on it but for the foreseeable future you guys can definitely expect just daily NGS content because I still am firmly on the ship I do believe NGS is gonna get better it's just when is it actually gonna ramp up that is the big question that a lot of people are asking and I know a lot of people are sick of waiting you know you guys are like yo listen I given this game like a year and they haven't gotten better because they didn't do XYZ stuff like that and I do understand it 
The way that I see NGS is it's a great side game at the moment. I don't think it's a good main game, mainly because you run out of things to do pretty quickly, especially if you're playing this game every single day. Like they do encourage you to do that, you know, with your dailies, your weeklies, your mission pass and all of that stuff. However, after you've upgraded all your gear and you max out everything, it really does feel like a gotcha game. It kind of feels like Genshin to me in the point that I just kind of log in, I do my dailies, I burn my resin, and then I log off. It's kind of like that. So even though I am playing NGS every single day, I don't play that much of it compared to the other streamers. Like I know Elena is playing like eight hours a day and she streams it and it's really crazy. But for me, it's more of a 30 minute session. I log in, I do my dailies, I just wander around, maybe do a little bit of PSE grinding or purple trigger or two, and I log off. You know, I don't do anything too crazy. At most, I play like an hour a day. So that's probably why I don't get burned out from this game that easily because I only play an hour a day. And then after that, I actually hop over to other games at the moment moment and I'm just waiting for like you know something to grind for a goal or some other objective that I want to achieve in NGS and when something new pops up I'll go on a binge where I play like five hours a day for like a week straight and I achieve whatever goal I set out and then I go into relax mode where I just like play 30 minutes a day again until there's another big thing that I want to achieve or I want to upgrade and that's just kind of the approach that I've taken in NGS but let me know in the comment section below what are your plans for next year are you guys going to be playing some other games are you guys just waiting for the big evolution of update. I'm really hoping the evolution update is really superb and it just like blows everyone out of the water. However, again, we're just gonna have to wait and see. Special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel. It really means a lot to me. Thank you again. But yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe and I'll see you guys next year. Bye! What can I say except you're welcome for the heals, the boosts, the